What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today I'm joined by Kenji again. What's up? From Kenji Timita Vlogs. You guys saw him in my last video on the MMIs. So I'm gonna be doing a mini series on my channel where I talk about different MMI questions, how we would answer them, our thoughts on them, what you should talk about, things that you definitely want to avoid, maybe some red flags, things like that. And then hopefully you guys find them useful for your MMI practice. Mm. And Enjoy. There'll also be a couple of MMI videos on Kenji's channel. If you guys want to check him out, go to his YouTube channel, follow him on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and all the rest of it. In this first video, I wanted to talk about why... Oh gosh. <laughs> In this video, I wanted to talk about why you chose medicine... Jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> In this first video, I want to tackle the question, why medicine and not another healthcare field? So this is a question that I was asked when I was interviewed in Bristol and it's one that comes up pretty often. You should know how to answer it or at least what to think about. Definitely. In a question like this, really what they're getting at is why did you choose to be a doctor or why do you want to be a doctor as opposed to a nurse, a healthcare assistant, a physiotherapist, a research scientist, any of these other positions that also help people. Because mm. a common answer given to one of these questions is, well, I want to help people. But, yeah, they all, all help people, right? All of them help people. <laughs> Almost every job helps people. So you want to give reasons why medicine is distinguished from all these other professions. Mm. In your answer, you want to really bring across why being a doctor is unique. So for example, a common comparison is made between doctors and nurses, right? And nurses play a really important role in the hospital. Yeah. In fact, they spend way more time with patients than doctors do. Yeah. It's so important to actually acknowledge that and be like, actually, mm -hmm. nurses play a massive part in the team. Yeah. And you wouldn't have hospital without nurses. Yeah. I think it's really important just to say that first. Absolutely. Well. Big red flag is to diminish the role of nurses, to mm. talk about nurses or any other health healthcare professional in a negative light. Definitely. You definitely don't want to do that. Mm. You want to show how they're important, also how doctors are important, but why doctors is different. Mm. Yes, yeah, so one thing you can say is that doctors often have the final decision in a matter. Mm -hmm. You can kind of bring in your own personal experience from this as well. So you can say when I was in hospital, um, I was part of an MDT team and I noticed that the consultant always had the final decision or the doctors always had the biggest decision and that kind of suits your personality. Yeah. So for me, you know, I love being, uh, I love having a lot of control, a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. um, and you could definitely say that as well. Doctors will have an elevated sense of responsibility and leadership, right? Mm -hmm. And like Kenji said, doctors do make the final decision. The final care of the patient falls on their shoulders. Mm. So if you are someone who likes to be in those kinds of positions, then maybe being a doctor is a good fit for you. Mm. And you definitely want to back that up. You want to say why it is that you would make a good doctor. Why, why are you a good leader? Why do you like high responsibility? Yeah, and you an know? example of where you've shown that as well. So you can be like, okay, I'm a captain in a team, mm -hmm. or I work in a restaurant and I'm the manager or whatever. Yeah. And you're back off your own experience and how you can transfer that from your experience now to being, you know, being a doctor. Exactly. Um, you can also mention that nurses um, right now have an increasing responsibility. Mm -hmm. So there are different specialities of nurses, and they are getting more and more power. Um, but again, the, you know, the last final decision is normally up to the consultant. Yeah. But always bring it back to you and bring it back to an experience that you've had so that you can show and demonstrate what it is that you're talking about. Otherwise, your answer is going to sound very bland. It's not going to be unique and it won't mm -hmm. stick in the interviewer's mind. Yeah, there's no point saying like, oh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm great at having responsibility. I love having responsibility without actually showing how you did it. Exactly. It, it's, yeah. It's you might as well not say it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So another common healthcare position is being a research scientist. Mm -hmm. And the reasons that I would give for why a doctor is different than that is mostly about the interpersonal connections and the exactly. social interaction that you have with your patients. Mm -hmm. Being a doctor puts you in a unique position to be able to talk to patients and follow them through time. Mm -hmm. You get to see them progress or even worsen, um, but you get to follow them and you get to see how they change and your decisions and your impact will cause that change. Maybe in other positions, like a research scientist or a pharmacist, you don't get to see the patient over time. You don't get to follow their progression. Mm -hmm. And that's something that is unique to doctors. Yeah, you could say like, um, I love being personal, I love um, you know, being social. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you know, working in labs, the two of us definitely know that sometimes it's just me and myself all day. And you, know, you love the, you know, the personal interaction yeah. uh, of being a doctor because sometimes you may not like that. You know, it may not suit your personality as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, as a doctor, you're always going to be talking to new patients. You're going to be learning their story. Um, and you don't get to do that so much as a research scientist. A lot of the time, like you said, it's just you with your earphones on, droning away at some work. Like the feds. Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> I uh, hated that stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a lab now as well, but at least now, I, when I work in the lab, I have mm. the time to speak to you know, patients. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it's, it's not as difficult as, as I found it before. Okay. Yeah. If you are interested in research, like you know, the two of us, you can always say that when I do become a doctor, I want to pursue a career in research as well in academia. Mm -hmm. um, so for me personally, I do definitely want to go down the role of research. Um, so right now, um, I'm working in a lab. Nasi was working in a lab over summer. 
and you can definitely become a research position, I think I call it. Research yeah. position, right? Yeah. You can definitely become a research position if you'd like to. So that's another point you can raise is that I want to help patients today, but I also want to change the world for tomorrow being a researcher. Oh. And there is, <laughs> that's a key point. Um, and there are roles for, you know, for, for nurses to be involved in that. Mm -hmm. But again, a lot of the times the PI or the lead investigator is a doctor as a consultant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's another massive point you could mention, you know, mm -hmm. bench, bench to bedside kind of thing. Yeah. One other point you could say is that you are really interested in the science uh, behind medicine. Mm -hmm. So medicine is a five or six year course and we go into a lot of detail you know, in, in medicine. A lot of the times, the first two years of medicine is just pure science. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something you may not necessarily have on a two or three year nursing course. Um, so you could just say that, yeah, that is something I'm really interested in. I'm so passionate about, you know, the science of things and I want to fully, mm -hmm. you know, understand it before I go on to help patients. Because yeah. um, a lot of times in nursing, I think from day, from like week one, they go onto the wards and they learn a lot more about caring for patients rather than the science behind it. In addition to that is also the anatomy. As someone studying medicine, you get to have a much deeper look into anatomy. You yeah. also get cataract dissection um, and all of that. Anatomy is a very important part of the course. Definitely. So if that's something that interests you as well, then that's a good reason for wanting to study medicine. Mm -hmm. Another really great thing about medicine is that it's so diverse and there are, I don't want to say infinite, but there are so many different specialties that you can go into any single part of the human body that you find most interesting, that you think is really cool, you can specialize in. Mm. And you'll never run out of <laughs> years of training in the hospital, you'll never run out of books to read about it. Yeah. Um, there's always more and more information coming out every single day. The scene is rapidly evolving and there's so much to learn. Yeah, and it's a really long career. I mean, you, you'll constantly be learning from day mm. one of medical school up until the final days of a consultant. And even when you are a consultant, I think you still do learn so much. For sure, yeah. Um, and obviously that is uh, possible in nursing as well, but I don't mm -hmm. think you can go to the extent of, you know, of what medicine is like in terms of specialities and learning as well. Mm -hmm. So the final point that I want to hit on is about the role of teaching as a doctor. Um, teaching is something that is central to the role of a doctor. It's something that you learn very well in medical school and you continue to do throughout your practice. And I talked in my interview about my love for teaching, how I did little teaching sessions at university mm -hmm. to help other students understand the lecture material a little bit better. And I thought that brought across like a really nice way to show that I was personable as well. And being able to teach is one of those core skills that they want to see in their students when applying for medicine. So I think that came across quite well as well. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. I hope those tips gave you something to think about when answering this question in your MMIs. If there's anything that you guys want to see me and Kenji answer in a future video, any specific question, something that you want a little bit more information on, do let us know in a comment down below. Don't forget to go to Kenji's channel, subscribe to his channel, check him out. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Peace.